Hello everyone, I am Dr. Godun Raman. In this section, we are going to discuss with application of partial differential equation. We have indicated that partial differential equation arise in the study of fluid mechanics, heat transfer, electromagnetic theory, quantum mechanics and other area of physics and engineering. In many physical engineering problem, we always seek a solution of the differential equation whether it is ordinary differential equation or partial differential equation which satisfy some specific conditions are called the boundary condition. In the case of ordinary differential equation, first we get the general solution which contain the arbitrary constant and then we determine these constant from the initial values. But in the case of partial differential equation, we get the solution involving both or arbitrary constant and arbitrary function. Hence, it is difficult for us to adjust these constant and function so as to satisfy the given boundary condition. So, we adopt a method known as method of separation of variable for solving linear partial differential equation so as it satisfy all or some the given boundary condition. In this method, right from the beginning, we try to find out the particular solution of given partial differential equation which satisfy the boundary condition and then adjust them till the remaining conditions are also satisfied. So next to form classification of partial differential equation, look at this, this is a form of uh, partial classification of partial differential equation. So the look at the form A dou square u by dou x square b dou square u by dou x dou y c dou square u by dou y square plus the function of x y u dou u by dou x dou u by dou y equal to 0. From the form you just find the value b square minus 4ac when it's greater than 0 it's a hyperbolic type and equal to 0 parabolic equation less than 0 elliptic equation when the hyperbolic equation the example is nothing but one dimensional wave equation then one dimensional heat equation for parabolic equation and two dimensional equation for elliptic equation so first in detail we are going to discuss that one dimensional wave equation so one dimensional wave equation is nothing but dou square y by dou t square equal to a square dou square y by dou x square so this is a one dimensional wave equation next this equation to solve using method of separation of variable we have some possible solutions so these are the possible solutions are so one y of x comma t equal to a e power lambda x b e power minus lambda x c e power lambda a t d e power minus lambda a t the next solution y of x comma t equal to a cos lambda x b sin lambda x c cos lambda a t d sin lambda a t and the third solution y of x comma t a x plus b c t plus d so these are the possible solution of these three solution we have to choose the solution which is consistent with the physical nature of the problem and the given boundary value condition since we are dealing with the vibrations of the elastic string the displacement y of x comma t of the string at any point x and at any time t greater than 0 must be periodic function of x and t hence the solution to this solution to consisting of trigonometry function which are the periodic function is the suitable solution to the one dimensional wave equation so this is our suitable solution
here the constant a b c d are determined by using boundary value condition of the given problem so in the problem dealing with the vibration string we assume that the second solution here a b c d lambda constant of which only four are independent constant to be determined hence four condition are required to solve the one dimensional wave equations and then conditions conditions the condition is nothing but y of 0 comma t equal to 0 that is mean x is 0 t greater than or equal to 0 y of l comma t equal to 0 x equal to l t greater than or equal to 0 and then y of x comma 0 equal to some function of x so this is a t equal to 0 then though y of x comma 0 by dou t equal to some function of x or 0 for here for all x in 0 comma l the length x is nothing but 0 to l so in this four condition this two condition boundary condition boundary conditions why the values are 0 since the string is fixed at the end point there is no displacement at the end point so the values are 0 if the string is pulled up into the curve some function of x and then it's released with or without force the condition are nothing but third and fourth condition so these two condition initial condition so now i given this one equation one dimensional way equation this equation solving method of separation of variable and then possible solution in the possible solution the second solution is suitable solution and then the boundary condition initial conditions so these are the important to solve the problem one dimensional way equation similarly one dimensional heat equation one dimensional heat equation now you first to write the heat equation so the heat equation nothing but dou u by dou t equal to a square dou square u by dou x square so this is the heat equation this equation to solve using method of separation of variable again we have possible solutions are the first one u of x comma t equal to a e power lambda x b e power minus lambda x and then e power lambda square a square t and the second solution u of x comma t equal to a cos lambda x b sin lambda x then e power minus lambda square a square t and then u of x comma t equal to a x plus b so these are the possible solution again this three solution the second solution is our suitable solution suitable solution and then condition The conditions so the condition is nothing but initial condition so first write the condition the first one u of 
0 comma t equal to 0 this meaning x is 0 then t greater than or equal to 0 and then u of l comma t 0 then x equal to l t greater than or equal to 0 and then third x comma 0 equal to some function of x for all x in 0 to l so this is a uh, three conditions for heat equation in the heat equation uh, we applied with rod iron whatever so what are the type of problem uh, two end zero temperature one end zero another end non-zero temperature then suddenly reduced to non-temperature to zero temperature other type two sides are non-zero temperature so this type of problem we are going to discuss for the next session thank you everyone